What's up, everyone? V here, and uh, I'm back. It's the it's the new year. Uh, we're back making more videos. Uh, the last one was the top ten figures of 2022. Uh, go check that one out. That one was pretty good. And uh, this technically isn't the first review of of the year because that was a uh, Mr. Knight. But uh, I keep forgetting I made that. Go check that review out, by the way. Also, the rest of the figures from this wave I've reviewed almost all of them except for two. And uh, speaking of, today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave, Miss Marvel, f from Miss Marvel. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the show. It's probably in my top three favorite Marvel shows. Um, it was just really fun. I wasn't really expecting much from it, because I had no idea anything about the character of Miss Marvel. But, you know, I like a fun high school comedy shows and it delivered on that it was a uh, very solid uh the villains were all right not the greatest and the the middle part of the season was my least favorite because you kind of leave like half of the characters and it's just like her and her mom which yeah those were great but like you left my, my boy what was his name <laughs> i completely forgot his name because uh like most things i don't do research before my videos what was the name brian or some the her uh smart friend guy, I don't know, I really liked his character, but you left him for a couple episode, episodes, and that was kind of sad, but overall, I loved the show, loved Amon Valani, I think that's how you say her name, as Miss Marvel, she literally is Miss Marvel, um, see her in interviews and everything, she's the living embodiment of her character, my dream is to just be able to sit down and have a, just an in-depth conversation with her about Marvel, because I feel like it'd be the greatest conversation I'd ever have in my life, but yeah, that aside, I think it's a great show. The people hating it are just uh, are just haters, you know. I think it's a great show. I mean, if you liked Spider-Man Homecoming, you're going to like this. It's got the same vibe, except not as strong of a villain, like I said. Because, like, spoilers, uh, the villains just kind of die before the finale and you're dealing with this one brother. I don't, I don't know, but you know. It was cool, and I don't mind them changing her powers. It's visually more interesting to see a bunch of blue crystal lights than um giant CGI stretched hands, because we know that probably would look really weird. But yeah, this figure's pretty alright. But uh, before we get to that, let's get to the box. And uh, it's the uh, standard packaging. I like the uh, Miss Marvel symbol. I don't always acknowledge the backgrounds, because usually they don't put much stuff back there, but they did on this one. They got Miss Marvel. Uh, nothing else. Usually I'm used to seeing the name of the show and then the text, but, well, her name's Miss Marvel, and it's the only Miss Marvel figure we're probably going to get. So, Hasbro, Marvel Studios, Disney+, Plus, Marvel Legends, Miss Marvel logo, Infinity Ultron, 4+. Plus. On the side, you get a nice shot of Kamala Khan. Same shots on the other side. And you got like a little crystal effect at the bottom. Then on the back, the rest of the figures. Done review of Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, She-Hulk, Kate Bishop. And next review will probably be Hawkeye, then Sharon Carter. Then we reviewed this bad boy. If you saw my top 10, you know I really like him. Then you got full glam shot of her on the back. With a little bio reading when Kamala Khan... Oh, not when. Kamala Khan is... Sick, whew, my uh, English teacher is crying right now. Kamala Khan is 16 years old, good at school, and bad at fitting in. But when she unexpectedly develops superpowers, she'll learn that what makes her different makes her powerful. I also forgot she's a cosplayer. She She's literally, like, a Marvel fan. I love the intro, by the way. One of my all-time favorite Marvel intros, and that's not because it has my favorite song of all time in it. But yeah, this figure's great. Going off the accessories, first off, they gave her the biggest build-a-figure piece, which is the torso and cape, but I already put them together, so yeah, I'm going to do a full review on him once I'm completed with the wave. Uh, spoiler alert, I really like him, but if you saw the top 10, you already know that. I think he was like 4 or 5, and her only other accessories are fists. Not, like, powered-up fists. Just fists. I mean, they're nice. Uh, she has open hands, which don't make sense, because what sh what's she going to hold? So I'm probably just going to swap out them for fists, because, realistically, what is she holding with those open hands? You know, it makes more sense for her powers. 
So yeah, she's got the fists on her now. And uh, that's my biggest complaint about, well, one of my complaints about this figure is that you don't get anything replicating her powers. They could have given you like a little piece to like put over the fist or a separate fist with like the glowing powers, but they didn't. Which is weird, because I think the other Miss Marvel figures had those. But for some reason, this one doesn't. That's kind of disappointing, but uh, design-wise, I really like the suit she has. Uh, my least favorite part of it is probably the mask. I feel like it's just got too many lines and curves and makes her look really angry sometimes. But yeah, I, I, I think the figure captured it all right. Uh, getting right into it, my biggest complaint is probably this head sculpt. I just don't think it captures Iman Vellani at all. Like, the mask is sculpted really well, it's got nice paint, everything. But, like, I, I just am not really seeing her in the face. I don't know. It's kind of there, kind of not. I also hate the hair. Because, I don't know why it's, like, curving out like that. She has a bit more, like, straight flowing hair. And it's also, I think, black. It's more black, but this looks kind of brown. I don't know, maybe, I looked at a picture of it to compare the face, and it really, I feel like the hair should be sculpted differently, and I think the face is a little off. But I don't know, that being said, though, like I said, even though it's not 100% accurate, the paint on it is really nice. They got some gold lines in there. I feel like there might be something done to the hair. I might be tripping because of my lighting, but it feels like there's, like, maybe a slight wash. Then getting to the torso, the torso I really like. They captured that nice shiny blue, and the uh, Miss Marvel symbol is painted really well. Kind of a little spotty around here, but rather than that, it looks great. Like all the nice crisp lines are painted really well. And I just love it's got like a little slight texture to it, which I really like. Then got like pur purple. Was that dark blue? I don't know. Like, whatever is going on here, painted really well. And on the back, you got a nice little design there. And you got her scarf, which is just red plastic. They didn't put, like, any texture on it, which, eh, it's alright. It's, it's a little annoying, because it's like, it feels like, I don't know, like gum. But, you know. How many times have I said you know in this video? Jesus Christ. But yeah, the, I'd say the torso is really nicely sculpted it gets in the way of the leg articulation but honestly i don't care uh my main complaint though not my main complaint one of my complaints is the arms specifically the elbows because like they kind of like a weird bend and in the wave that gave us two really great female figures with double jointed elbows it's kind of annoying that they couldn't give them to her especially when she has like this armor pad it worked perfectly also, I feel like her arms are way too thin. Like, her arms were not that thin in the show. Like, these are these twig arms. She did not have twig arms. Like, what? But that being said, the sculpting is really nice. It's got, like, some texture here with the nice blue. Um, didn't her mom make the suit in the show? Some black magic these people have in these superhero movies and shows that they can just sew something like this together in their spare time, you know? Yeah. The red doesn't really have shiny to it. It's got a little bit of shine, but not that much. Then coming down to her legs, kind of kind of bland. Not much paint, but they do have the... uh. Nice texture going down the side of the legs, down to her shoes. Got all the laces painted really well. And the uh, Hasbro. So that's about it. Um, It's not perfect. I definitely hope for when the Marvels drops, we do get a slightly better version. Oh yeah, almost forgot to show off the bangle because I forgot it's on the other arm. That's sculpted pretty well. You can't even see it because of my phone's off when it won't get in focus and it's got nice paint you know it helps thicken the arm out a bit so it's not as annoying but like that being said like there's aspects of this figure that are really good it's like mr knight but not as 
rough. Like, miss these both these figures have really great aspects, mostly in the torsos, but the head and all. It literally, they're literally the same. Like, the body and legs are really good, but it's the arms and the heads that let these figures down, except Miss Marvel's definitely not as bad as this guy. His arms and head are atrocious. But yeah, articulation-wise, let's make sure we're zoomed out. I think you got a dumbbell joint at the head, but you're not getting much out of it because of the hair sculpt and the uh, scarf. But you can get side to side, bit of bob, and a little up and down. Arms rotate, hinge out, single jointed elbow, which admittedly it does go pretty far in, but it definitely could have been a double jointed elbow. But it does have a... oh. Oh! I was going to say it has a rotation here, but I rotated the bangle. Okay, so you can rotate that too, apparently. And got an in and out and rotation at the hand. <laughs> then you got a nice... Oh, never mind. I was going to say nice diaphragm joint. It did not move forward at all. Yeah, that does not. That's as far as you're going to get forward. And that's as far as you're going to get back. So, wow, that's awful. doesn't even move side to side. The best it is to just rotate it. Okay. Did not see. I thought it had way better range than the legs. It's got the cut there in the design, so that's as far as you're going to get forward. And you're not going to get much back. And it does have a cut on the side, so you can kind of get a split. But that's as far as both the legs go. But you get a thigh rotation, double jointed knee. They got a hinge up and down, and a rocker on the foot so articulation wise this figure's not that great a lot of hindrances but honestly i don't i don't care um like some unless it's like a character like spider-man like i can accept hindrances on like a character like miss marvel because like i'd rather the sculpt looks nice but like it has hindered leg articulation than this be fabric um yeah i don't like fabric on six inch scale figures because it never sits well Unless you get, like, a custom cape with, like, wire in it, but, like, Hasbro's never gonna do that. So, yeah, um, comparison time. Let's bust out the boys. You already know. We're switching it up this time for Black Sears gonna pull out Boba Fett. The fact that they're, like, the same height is kind of annoying. I don't think Black Series and Marvel Legends are the in the exact same scale. I think Black Series are just slightly smaller, which is a little annoying. And then here is a uh, studio average, not studio series, average Voyager class scale Transformers figure. My mind just forgot to think there. Then bringing in a Jazzwares and a McFarlane figure comparison, a Halo and a DC figure. They tower over her. And now for some fun little comparisons. Here she is next to Moon Knight. Go check out that video. Most of these, like, like I said, I reviewed most of this wave and Moon Knight. He leans forward, which is weird. Or thinks he's Michael Jackson. And, uh, here she's next to the, uh, superior female figures of the wave. Those two are phenomenal figures. I think, yeah, she was in my top ten. She was in honorable mentions. Here she's next to the only other two members of the wave that I have yet to review. One's amazing, one's not. The Build-A-Figure. Spider-Man, because I feel like they would get along really well. Well, Spider-Man pre No Way Home. He's kind of depressed now. And finally, here she is next to Captain Marvel, uh, the original one. Uh, I haven't got any of the newer ones. I think there's only one. I do like the look that she had at the end of Miss Marvel, though. And I do gotta say, I like how the designs look very similar. Like, bringing them in for a quick side-by-side. -side. Focus. They both have, like, the really shiny metallic blue with the vaguely shiny red, but not as shiny. Except the blue's a lot darker. And the red's a lot richer on uh, Captain Marvel. But I like that their designs look similar. Even though, realistically, it doesn't make sense. Because didn't Kamala's mom make this suit? And, like, she got this from aliens. 
But she probably based it off of Captain Marvel because she's a huge Captain Marvel fan. So I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I like that they like match together. And I can't wait to see them together. Uh, love Kamala. She's probably one of my all-time favorite Marvel characters from that show. I just love her so much. That's why I'm hyped for the Marvels. Um, Monica Rambeau, she's all right. And uh, Captain Marvel, they're all right. Like, I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the characters. But they're not, like, my favorites. But Kamala, man, I love her. I can't wait to see her in the show. Not the show, the movie. And I heard that there's a season two rumored to be coming out, which is hype. So, yeah. What are my thoughts on this figure? It's it's pretty good. Um, If you like Miss Marvel, I'd pick it up. If you enjoyed the show, I'd pick it up. But, uh... If you don't really care for the show, you're not a huge Miss Marvel fan, I'd probably pass. Like I said, this figure's got a lot of problems, like with the arms and the head, kind of like Moon Knight. And it does have a lot of hindrances with the articulation. And it doesn't have any, like, effects or anything. So hopefully, when the Marvels drops, she'll maybe still have this look. And hopefully, hopefully, they'll give us a new version because, like, I saw a look, and it was, like, an inverted version of the suit, and it kind of annoys me because this is already the perfect Miss Marvel look. I think all they need to do is just tweak the mask, and it'd be perfect. But, yeah. So, I'm hoping we get, like, a better figure of her with a more, like, accurate head sculpt, maybe better arms, and some effect pieces. That would make this figure great. But beyond that... It's an alright figure. Definitely not the worst in the wave. I'd say it's about, like, in the middle of the wave. But, you know, it's just a nice figure of Kamala. It's alright. Now, I'm glad to have her in the collection, because I love the show and love her. Uh, I doubt we're going to get any more figures from the show beyond, uh, I don't even know, because it took us forever to get Ned. So, I doubt they'd give us, unless it was in a two-pack with... Kamala and uh, the the one guy. I, I cannot remember his name for the life of me. I keep wanting to say Brian, but I know that's wrong. I know that's wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews. Like I said, we reviewed Moon Knight. Top 10 figures of the year. Uh, next review will most likely be on the goat himself, Hawkeye. That figure's amazing. It was in the top 10. And, and then we'll do Sharon. It's going to be a fast review because I don't have many things to say about that figure because I don't care about it. I literally bought it just for the Ultron head and I rationalized it as I'm buying Ultron and just getting Sharon Carter with it. But yeah, check out my Instagram, Moon Knight XO. Uh, I do uh, some reels, posts, whatever. You can check out, see things that will be upcoming reviews and uh, hope you have a marvelous day. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and, uh, wasn't there, like, a poster that looked like that? And, uh, remember, kids, um, I don't know, <laughs> nothing, nothing's coming to me, but, uh, if you get superpowers, uh, you can, uh, can have fun, I don't know, it's the moral of the story, I guess, peace out, I don't know. <laughs>